This is Pitfall, one of the best games ever made for the Atari 2600. Now there are other games that are really good, and its sequel, Pitfall 2, is amazing. But the original Pitfall by David Crane... released by Activision, is probably one of the most solid titles you'll ever find for the Atari 2600. In it, you take on the role of Pitfall Harry. You can see you can move left or right, you can jump, and what you have to do is avoid pitfalls. You have to avoid the dangers of the jungle. This includes wild animals like scorpions, snakes, fire, alligators. Now, you have to keep moving and try to get as much score as you can, and say you hit something, like a log, you actually lose points. You also happen to have lives, and if you lose all your lives, you die. But as long as you can stay alive and keep going, you can continue to score points. The max score that you could get in Pitfall in under the 20-minute allotted time is 114,000 points. I've done pretty well. I start off going to the left and over time have sort of memorized the pattern for where you have to go. Unfortunately, I usually clip something or skip something trying to get there in 20 minutes, so I've never gotten a perfect game. But... Much like my need to solve the Rubik's Cube, a perfect game of Pitfall is something I'd like to achieve before I pass on to the great arcade in the sky. I just can't get enough of this game. Each time I play it, it's like a new challenge, and anyone I give it to to play finds it to be just as challenging. And what I find unusual is that they've tried to remake this game lots of times, and there's been an arcade version, PlayStation version, none of them, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many people who have played it, have lived up to the original game. In some point in the near future, I will play Pitfall 2, The Lost Caverns, and talk about how awesome that game is. I prefer the original Pitfall, although they would probably still get both the same score. Some fun facts about Pitfall, because it was such an amazing title. It had a Saturday morning cartoon, and a star, who had not yet been a star, who helped to sell this game in a commercial, was Jack Black. What a great game this is, and if you have an Atari 2600, this should be in your collection. If it's not, why do you even have an Atari 2600? That is why I give Pitfall 5 stars. I would give it 10 stars, 20 stars, 30 stars if I had not chosen to stick to a 5-star system. So get out there, get yourself some Pitfall. You will not regret it. Thanks for listening to this retro review. If you've enjoyed it, you can find more retro fun at my website at retroist.com. This has been a Retroist production. Goodbye.